In this video, we will be using our mobile phone instead of emulator for debugging our app via USB and wireless method. Let's switch to our mobile. First go to settings of your phone, then go to about phone, then click on version, then click on this build number multiple times unless it shows that you are in developer mode. Then go to additional settings, then click on developer options, then turn the USB debugging on. Now since I am in Realme 3 Pro, for me the developer option is present inside additional settings but it may not be so for your device if you are using a different device. So for finding the USB debugging option just search it within the settings. It will directly take you to the USB debugging option for your phone and from here you can turn it on. Now let's connect our mobile with our system. After you connect your mobile with your system, click transfer files, then allow. Once you allow it, you can see your device here. Now select your device and then click on this play button to run the app on your device. You can see the app is running on our mobile phone. For those who have some problem with their USB, they can use wireless debugging. I also prefer the wireless debugging because we can keep our mobile at any place if we use the wireless method. For that, go to settings, go to plugin section and search for ADB Wi-Fi. Sort with respect to rating, install the first one, ok, now press on ok, now go to your mobile and then turn on your hotspot, connect your device with the same hotspot of your mobile. This one is my mobile. This is a different hotspot of another mobile. Once it is connected, now click on this ADB Wi-Fi in the bottom right. You can see my device is shown here. Click on connect. It's done. Now you can disconnect the USB from your mobile. Once you disconnect you can see this one is still connected. Even if my mobile is not connected with any USB with the system. Now you can still modify and rerun the app in your mobile. You can see the app is successfully launched in my mobile. The next time when you will come this particular device will already be saved in this ADB Wi-Fi and you just need to click on connect. Just make sure that you are connected with the same hotspot of your mobile or else it will not work. Let me show you. Let me close the Android Studio and also disconnect it. Now let me connect back again and now open the Android Studio.
now you go to adb wi-fi here you can see that this device has already been saved you just need to click on connect just make sure before you click on connect you should be connected with the hotspot of your mobile now click on connect you see it just got connected directly no usb nothing let me rerun the app in my phone you see it's running thank you